I'm Lauren of All Trades, and today we're going to be making Carnival's Melting Chocolate Cake at home. I'm probably not the only one that has gotten the recipe for Carnival's Melting Chocolate Cake in my email and on Facebook, and I finally decided that I wanted to try it. We're going to need sugar, regular flour, butter, it said semi-sweet chocolate, but this one has the melting cake on it, so I felt like I had to get it. And eggs. There it is. It's just on their website. I just had to Google Carnival melting cake. It was the first result. And this recipe is in ounces. Yeah, that's not really a thing I do. I'm going to have to work on this. The power of the internet and some rounding, I converted the recipe that's by weight to a recipe that is by volume. I also quartered it, so we're gonna just make one serving. We're gonna start with chocolate. And this one I, I was able to leave in ounces because it is actually, they kind of, they make lines and places to snap it it is done in half ounces, or at least a lot of baking chocolate is. Well, that didn't work. That's close. Okay, so that was one ounce. So these are half ounce squares, and I need one and a half ounces because I'm doing I was gonna say that was better and it just wasn't. It was half better. That's close enough. We're gonna need probably a cutting board. Three tablespoons of butter, and that is also indicated on the side of the butter. Sometimes the label doesn't really match correctly, so then you have to kind of just eyeball it. Probably they expect us to make it in on the stove and in, a, in an oven. I'm going to microwave it. So you do need a microwave safe container. Um, anything glass would work and then some plastics. And I'm going to start with 30 seconds. So I did not expect it to be done. I did want to stir it, and then I'm gonna put it back in, I think just for 15 seconds this time. That's still not quite done, but I think I want to just let the heat of the melted butter melt the chocolate the rest of the way. So while I wait for that to melt, two tablespoons of sugar. One egg. And then I need to whisk it. So my choices here are this really large whisk or this little tiny one. I think for this small recipe, I actually want to use the tiny one. I know that sounds crazy, but look how little I'm whisking. All right, that's all I really need to do. Now I need to add one and a half tablespoons of flour. Use the other side of my tablespoon. And you just want to whisk it till it's combined, I think. Just from past experience with things. Alright, coming back to my chocolate, it is in fact melted the rest of the way. So that is good to go. I'm a little bit worried about the hot chocolate cooking the eggs, so I'm gonna go slowly. Luckily, I picked this bowl that has rubber on the underside so it won't move all over the place as I whisk. So I'm just gonna pour it in slowly. There's like a term for it and I don't know what it is, but 
it'll keep the eggs from turning into scrambled eggs, which we do not want. This is a no chocolate left behind situation. It's looking weirdly gloopy. Not sure if that's correct, but I guess we'll find out. Let's get this stuff out of there because I am going to be cooking my melting cake in my toaster oven. Da, 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 da. 390 degrees. Nope. I'm going to probably just need one ramekin. This is 10 ounces. So if you have a smaller one, then you might want to use more than one. And then you'll want cooking spray, some sort of Pam situation. I use just canola oil in a reusable um, sprayer because the environment. I also want to use a baking sheet, which is just to make it easier to get out of the oven. And believe it or not, I think this will all fit in this one ramekin. It's going to be close. Hopefully it doesn't rise that much. All right, I think that's it. All right. Give that bad boy 14 minutes, and then we'll be back to see how it comes out. Okay. All right, just about 10 seconds to go. I think we can get it out. I think it's safe. Bloop, bloop. All right, here's our melty cake. And I need a spoon and I need ice cream. All right, so we'll have to give this a try. Look at that. That is some melty cake. Oh my God, it's so good. I know I'm supposed to have vanilla ice cream, but then I saw fudge stripe and I was like, Sounds good too. Mmm. Why is it so much better with ice cream? Well, that is a successful melting chocolate cake. I am going to put this recipe on my blog, so look in the description. There will be a link there. That will be it for me and my Carnival's melting chocolate cake at home.